Hi, so this is A Level Physics and I am here with an interesting question from uh, 9702 Winter 20. Uh, the question paper is 11 and the question number is 15. So the question says that we have a trolley which moves from P to Q about a slope and at Q the potential energy is 50 kg less than at P. At P, the kinetic energy of the trolley is for 5 kilojoules and the trolley does work of 10 kilojoules against friction. What is the kinetic energy of the trolley at Q? So, before doing this question, we must know something. That is that the total energy is the sum of potential energy. The total energy is the sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy that's one thing we must know so at P the total energy would be the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy and at Q the total energy would be the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy that's the first thing we must realize in this question the second thing we must realize in this question is that because the surface is rough and work is being done against friction so the total energy here would be more than the total energy here so basically the 10 kilojoule work against friction is the difference between both total energies so we can say that the total energy at P is equals to the total energy of Q plus 10 kilojoules because this is the differentiation factor if that was a smooth surface the both total energies would have been the same because as we know that the conservation of energy exists but because of this friction this difference is being caused that's our uh, thinking discussion like how will the things move forward now let's approach the question and see how can we solve this question and it says that what is the kinetic energy of the trolley at Q this is a repeated question it has been asked before so but that's a good question I have chosen this question because this is a good question so let's do it it says that at Q the potential energy is 50 kilojoule less than at so we can say that potential energy at Q potential energy at Q is equal to potential energy at P minus 50 so this is our equation number one at Q its potential energy is 50 kilojoule less than at P so it's obvious that at Q the potential energy would be less because it's at a lower height and potential is all about mgh it's all about the height so the lower the height the lower the potential energy so this equation makes sense so let's move forward it says at P the kinetic energy of the trolley is 5 kilojoules so we can say that kinetic energy ek at p is 5 further it says the trolley does work of 10 kilojoules against friction so we can say that work against friction the frictional force is 10 kilojoules I meant writing the kilo because I'm assuming that that's the common unit of all the energies that's our third equation now it says what is the kinetic energy of the trolley at Q so I'm drawing a line here and I'm working over here now I will be writing the total energy equation so I can say that the total energy at P will be equal to the work done in the friction which is 10 plus the work total energy at Q and
and do remember that the total energy at Q is the sum of the potential energy at Q plus kinetic energy at Q. That's obvious we have already discussed that, that the total energy is always the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy. Now let's open this up. The total energy at P is the potential energy at P plus the kinetic energy at P equals 10 plus total energy at Q. I meant opening this. I am just opening this because we have the information for this P. So what we can do further is I'm taking now I will be writing this equation over here. The potential energy at P can be written as E. I can take this make this subject so I can write this as E P Q plus 50. So this can be written as E P Q plus 50 plus E K P the kinetic energy at P is 5 plus 5 equals to 10 plus the total energy at Q can be written as E P Q plus potential energy at Q plus the kinetic energy at Q. So few things we can do is this then equal to sign so we can cancel EPQ and EPQ over here and we have over here 50 plus 5 is 55 minus 10 is 45. So this would be kinetic energy at Q equals to 55 minus 10 45 kilo joules so this is our final answer and the question was that what is the kinetic energy of the trolley at Q so the kinetic energy of Q is 45 kilo joules so that is it for this video and do like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you